scholarship uh, in Omaha uh, with Pastor Patrice Kabore. Um, um, and uh, I am from originally from Burkina Faso. Uh, I moved here in Nebraska about almost 10 years, um, married, and our oldest is three. Her name is Grace. Our youngest is going to turn two. Her name is Faith. <laughs> um, it's a joy to be here. We are here with uh, Pastor Paul from Burkina Faso and he will be ministering and I will have the honor to, to interpret. Um, my English, I'm still learning, uh, so <laughs> if anything doesn't come out right, know that I'm still learning, right? <laughs> and we, it's family. I, I may be looking for some words, please bear with me. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor, again. Thank you, Pastor Kim. Thank you for the honor of being here. Uh, we give thanks to the Lord this morning for the grace to be among his people. And I thank the Lord. Every time you get the opportunity to be among the people of God, give thanks to the Lord because it's a great privilege. And I thank him again for the privilege he allowed me to be here. I thank the Lord. It's his will. And I thank very much, Pastor, with the love with which he has welcomed us. And I will say it is a great honor to have him for all of you. Since I came here, I saw the Spirit of God upon him. When your leader is filled with the Spirit of God, it will be like a rain that will fall upon the congregation as well. And the, the, they will grow as plants. The Spirit of God is upon him. The Spirit of God is here in this place. That's what gives me great joy. I don't look at big churches. I look at the, where the presence of the Lord is. And you, have, you are privileged to have his presence. Before we move forward, I will show you that my presence here is not the plan of a man. It's, the pl it's God's plans. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In my church, when we the revival came, three people said, he said, Pastor, the Lord will take you to America and it will be the beginning of a revival. Wow. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And after that, an elderly pastor and uh, because of his age, there are some times that it's even difficult for him to Abola. come physically at church. Abola, and he called. Uh, and that pastor called in two, this year. And he said, in my dream, the, the Lord showed me that you went to America and you went there for a revival. And many people will find life 
an elderly pastor and that's in his dream that the Lord showed him that's why as I was coming I said Lord where you want me to go lead me to that place even if I don't know the people even if they don't know me, you know me, you know them. Lead me where you want me to go. That's why I'm here this morning. Hallelujah. 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 My name is Pastor Paul Lankwande. I am married with four children, two boys, and two girls. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I live in Burkina Faso, in West Africa. I don't live in the, in the, in the capital. I live in an area in the city called Bogande. It's about 250 kilometers from Ouagadougou, the capital city. And that's where I am serving the Lord. And in our region, there is a lot of Muslims. A lot of Muslims. But we praise the Lord. I believe uh, that you will hear some testimonies when I'm a man. Uh, how, what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I came, I didn't come to say, I didn't come to say I will show you Jesus. No. You know Jesus already. Because the gospel came from America to us in 1921. I didn't come to tell you about anything about Jesus. The word that the Lord gave for you this morning is revival. Enter into a revival. Enter into revival. Because America is a country that the Lord, a land that the Lord has chosen, is not an, an, a, an, an old country, but the Lord has chosen it and lifted it up above other countries. Why? Why? For the sake of the salvation of the world. For the sake of the salvation of the world. That's why the God has given honor to America. God has given them honor above other countries. Why? Because the Lord has given them much of this world. And they sent missionaries from to all over the world. That's why the Lord is blessing the country. But the revival is has, has died. The fire of the Spirit is going down. And I would like to tell you that from Pentecost, the, the fire of the Spirit that fell, the same fire that fell, will not die. Will not die. Even if it's go, the fire is going down, it will increase again. It will increase again. The Lord still has a vision for America. The Lord has a vision for each and every one of you in this place. Each and every one of us. The Lord has his, a vision for, for you. That's why I want you to believe. And, and forget about death. Hallelujah. When the Lord calls you for a work. For an assignment. And if that assignment is not completed yet. 
you will not die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If that assignment is not complete, the work is not done, you are not going anywhere. And the Lord has a work, an assignment for each and every one of you. May God bless you. In Jesus' name. We are going to read in the word. We are going to read a little bit in the word. And then we will share together some testimonies. We are going to read in the book of Acts. Acts chapter 1. Verse 4. Act chapter 1, verse 4, and verse 5. I will read Act chapter 1, verse 4 to 5. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for... Oh, hallelujah. Wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And we will read Act chapter 2. Act chapter 2 verse 39. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will stop here for now. The Lord had prepared his disciples with his word for three years. And Jesus had prepared his disciples. And he gave them his instructions for three years. And a time came for him to depart. And he wanted to hand the work to his disciples. And he knew that they would not be able to do the work without the Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, a human wisdom cannot achieve work. Without the Holy Spirit, the strength of a human being cannot do the work of God. That's why Jesus said, wait in Jerusalem and wait for the promise of my Father. Because when the, the power comes, you will be my disciples Jerusalem, in Jerusalem, Judea, in Judea, Samari, in Samaria, to the ends of the world. To, to be a witness is a great privilege because it's the will of God for everyone. But we cannot be a witness without the Spirit. Without the, the Holy Spirit. If we only have knowledge, uh, the, uh, the things that, that we know and the things that we can do, we can move forward and get to the, a point where those things are useless. Without the Holy Spirit. It's only the Holy Spirit. Jesus knew about it. And God gave us grace because we could say that this concerned only the, the, the disciples. But we see that in the day of Pentecost, Peter showed that what you are seeing is for you and for your children and for everyone that the Lord will call and for those who are afar off meaning us. It's us that he was talking about. It's us. 
But the time came for us to know that it is a mass for us to look to seek for the Spirit of God. It is because it is the revival is the coming in power of the Spirit of God. The time has come for us to get up and 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 receive that. To, and experience that before it can be the portion of others. It's true that the Holy Spirit began on the day of Pentecost. But when the fire has the tendency of going down, the Lord revives again. The Lord raises up other people. And people are being saved. In our times, we must stand. But in the verse where we read, it, it, that verse is helping us believe believe that what the Lord did in the past, he will do it today again. He will do it again. Hallelujah. 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 One day I was preaching the word from city to city. I didn't even have time to rest. I was going to day city to, from city to city. And I went to a particular city. And nobody in that city gave his life to Jesus yet. And when I went, I preached. And one day, that day, everybody was quiet. Over two thousand two two hundred people gave their life to Jesus. And there is a church planted there. But for me, as I was moving forward, I was praying and I was preaching. I was praying and preaching. And one day, the Lord spoke to me. And he said, you are preaching too much. And you are looking for people from outside. No. No. That in your church, there are people that need salvation. Among the believers, there are still people that still need salvation. They just come to church to service, but they are not transformed. That's why I began to pray. And I said, Lord, how, how, do, you, how do you want it to be done? Because people don't want to obey your word. How, what, what does it take? And for long, for not so long, and I saw how it started in 2021. In 21, I was in the town, and I moved to where we are located now. And when I got there, there was no believer. And I told my wife and my children, we are going to pray at home. And we began to pray. And we said, Lord, begin, start a revival with us. Start a revival with us. Revive our family. And at that moment, all my children were filled with the Holy Spirit. And we said, we will not tell anyone that we are starting a church. We're just waiting for the instructions from the Spirit. And people will come join us for prayer uh, in our living room. And when the person comes once, the Holy Spirit will meet that person. And when after the prayer, the person doesn't leave. And they will go and tell other people. And they began coming. They began to come. And one, uh, I can get up and in our living room, when I speak, there are pe be people begin to weep, to cry. And there wasn't even room to move in the living room because it was full of people. 
and we left that, the, that living room and we started with a tent. And we continued praying and we saw that the tent was full. And one day we cried before the Lord for the young people. And I said to the Lord, Lord, the youth must be saved. Why? Because today, they don't have time. At they, they go to school, but after school, uh, they are in, on the internet. They don't have time for the Lord. And I said, Lord, how, what are we going to do for those people to be saved? Lord, you must work in power. You said that the Holy Spirit is for those that are now and for those that are afar off. It is for us. Holy Spirit, bring the people. Bring the youth. And, at the, and then we began to see the youth coming. And when they come, the, the Holy Spirit will meet them. And they will repent of their sins. And they will go to the schools and tell their friends. Tell their friends in the schools. And they began coming. And they came. And they began to repent. They began to repent. They began to repent. Began to repent. And they grew in number. And when we baptized them, this month, in three months, we have to baptize a group of people because of, there is new believers. And at that time, the Holy Spirit came, fell upon the youth. And they told me, we want to pray. Saturdays, we don't have school. We want to pray for 24 hours. And I said, that's okay, no problem. Just pray. And they began to pray at church. And they were praying. They begin at 6 o'clock to next day, 6 o'clock in the morning. Then I saw. And I, one day I went to the church and I saw that they were lying on the floor. And they were crying, calling upon Jesus. Calling upon Jesus. Yes, Listen. The day that they, the, the youth pray this way, the, then revival started. Revival started. Hallelujah. At that moment, when, when we have a prayer meeting, there is the place is full of people. And they brought a young girl that was in a coma. And they lied the young girl on the, in the church. And people were crying, weeping. And the youth came. And they, they said, in the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, receive life. Receive life. For 30 minutes. And the young girl got up. That's the end. <laughs> Hallelujah. When people saw this. Among the youth. Somebody said. The Lord is showing me. That there is a, a, an elderly lady that is coming here with an with a issue of health. But the Lord will heal her. And, and then she will become a believer. And in that same week, there is a, a, a lady that they brought from the hospital to the church. And there was, uh, she had issues with her liver. And they said there was no more solution. There is nothing to do. And we began to pray. As we were praying, we were praying. I called her name. And she said, she answered. And I said, get up. She got up. When she got up, that's the end of her sickness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the fire of the spirit increased. And we saw people that were worshipping idols. And with charms. 
and they brought those charms. And they said, we, we came, we heard you, what you're preaching, and we, we know that we are sinners. And we burned those charms. And they gave their lives to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They, and the Lord touched the heart of the people. Even, even if somebody comes and said something that wasn't right, the person will come and bow and repent of his sins. Listen. This is the beginning of revival. Then, as the Lord opened the eyes of people to see this, there was a child, the son of a of an Muslim that was in the hospital in a coma. And the Muslim called me. When I got there, I saw him sitting, the, the Muslim, and he was crying, the, the, the father was crying, and I prayed for his son, the name of the son is Mamudu, after I prayed for the son, I called his name, I said, Mamudu, he said, yes, I said, get up. He got up. I said, give him water to drink. They gave him water. That's the end. And they left the, they was left the hospital the same day. 50 minutes later. Hallelujah. And I was astonished. And the Muslim said, is Jesus, is that what Jesus does? And he said, all my people go to church. <laughs> Hallelujah. He himself wasn't coming. But it's at night that we will come and listen to the word at church and go back. But one day, he was sleeping and in his dream. He saw that people came to kill, some people came to kill him. And in the dream, he called the name of Jesus. He says, in the name of Jesus. And all those people fell. And he got up and he was amazed. And he says, is Jesus that powerful? Jesus has that kind of power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he says, now I give everything to Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has done great things more than what I'm just sharing. And the Lord touched the, the, the region. And the, the leaders in the government. They called me last June on the 20th. And they were gathered together in one room. And they said, what the, what the Lord is doing, we know that it's only him that can save our land. Can you come and pray for us? Pray for us. And I prayed for them. And all of them, they, they gave their lives to Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that day, when I'm come, I'm quiet. the Lord gave me a word. And I told them, there is a problem that I see coming. But what you are, do, what you are doing, uh, but the Lord will save you. But I will pray for you. And when I prayed for that issue coming, Le after that, Le the, in July on the 6th, a group of terrorists came to attack the city. 70 people. But they didn't overcome. And they had to flee. They didn't win. And they said, and they said, we know that Jesus is powerful. We know that Jesus is powerful. We commit this land to Jesus. You, you saw ahead and you said that is a problem coming and you prayed but the Lord saved us. Jesus is powerful. Jesus is powerful. In the church, 
It's a new church. It's just in 2021 that we started. Uh, we, we, we don't have the equipment to broadcast the things that the Lord is doing there. Otherwise, many people would see what is going on there. But today, we have about 300 people. 300 people in the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord has glorified his name. And in that And they appointed me as the uh, overseer of the pastors uh, in, the, in the region where I live. And after they appointed me to lead the pastors, I told the pastors, it's not just words, it's not just wisdom, it's by the power of the Holy Spirit. Each and every one of us must get up and pray. And the pastors, we gathered together for three days. And, and we were praying and fasting. And the Holy Spirit fell upon the pastors. And the Holy Spirit showed them many things. And the, in the last day of the prayer, the Lord showed the pastors great things. And everyone got up. Today, we see that there is revival and there is increase in the churches. And the, the churches are increasing. And the miracles and signs and wonders are taking place. And I believe that what the Lord will do here in America is more than what he's doing in Africa. But I would like you to know one thing. If the Lord brings a revival through a man, the people begins to consider him differently. But did that man is not more than anyone else. We are still we are the same. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord in your life, you will see his power. You will see him in your life. You will see him. Listen. I am a man just like you. The Lord sometimes will do a great miracle. And that will even cause me to fear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day, we saw a madman walking. And I was with a, a, a friend pastor of mine. And the, 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 the madman was going, walking, just roaming around. And I told my pastor friend, let's get him. <laughs> and he said, I do, I, are you okay with that? He said, yes, I'm okay. We grabbed the, the madman. It, it was a lady. And she was beating people. And we found some chains and we chained her legs. We chained her. And we began to pray for her. We pray. And for two days, the demons left her. And she was healed. Hallelujah. And she wasn't dressed properly. And when she came back, she was healed. She asked herself, why is she dressed this in this condition? And we find some new clothes and we clothed her. And she took a shower. And we asked her then, where are you from? And she said, I am from Saba. A, 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 city, a town, a town that is not far from the capital city. It's that town is not far from the capital. And we say, what is the, the, the your tribe? And she told us her her tribe, her family. And we went seeking for her family. And we found them. They were all Muslims. We told them, we found a mad woman. And we prayed for her in the name of Jesus. And she is healed. And, but she said that she, she is from your family. 
And they said, yes, it's true. She has been lost for three years. We don't know where she is. But she had a child when she was leaving. And she, le she left the child somewhere. And they called us and to come take the child. But her herself, we don't know where she is for three years. And we said, come and see if it's her. And they gathered together and they came to see for, for five, five people. When they came and they saw her, and she was well dressed, and she was happy, and she went and greeted each and every one of them. Nobody could say a word. They were all amazed. And they were all amazed. And they asked us, how, what did you do? And I said, it's Jesus. It's Jesus who healed her. And they said, if somebody, you want it, you don't want it. Jesus is the truth. That's what they were saying. Jesus is the, the way. Nobody else could do this if it's not Jesus. And we gave them their, uh, the lady. And she became a Christian. Ha Hallelujah. And she's walking with the Lord. We believe that the Lord will bring a great revival here in America. When I left, um, the people from my church, they began, they are praying. And they are praying for 30 days for this country. For 30 days, for one month. For a whole month. In fasting. Every day. And today, every day we are praying. Sometimes you will see that this group of people in, is in the church praying. And other people want to come pray. And they will come to my living room and begin praying. And a and group of people will come also to pray. And they don't have a space. They will go under the trees. There, Under the trees, you will see people praying. And the youth that did not have time for the Lord after school, they will go drop their, their backpacks and they will go kneel before the Lord and they began to pray the Lord and praise the Lord. And, pray. and today, that's what is happening at right now. Hallelujah. And I believe the same thing can happen here. The Lord will touch the heart of the youth. And but that's, it's at the fathers who must lead the way in prayer. I would like to let you know there is no revival without prayer. Pray. Pray. The time has come. The world, the enemy has taken hold of many people. But Jesus is near to come. His coming is near. If we don't seek for a revival, it will not be well for with us. Our children are lost without prayer. It takes prayer. It takes prayer because many are lost. But with, but with the power in prayer, the Lord will bring them back. The Lord will visit his people. The Lord will visit his people. But the power in prayer, the revival will come again. And when revival comes, people, people will begin to witness from different places. And when revival comes, healing will take place. When healing comes, love will come again among the believers. Because love is a sign of true revival. Love is a must for a believer. But when revival comes, we will seek for one another. And we will love one another. 
But when love, we begin to love each other, then the devil will flee before we start praying. Because love has power. And love comes through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit who brings love. Listen. Listen, get up and let's seek for the Spirit of God. Let's seek for the Spirit of God. The world has everything. The world has money. They have knowledge. They have technology. But they don't have the Holy Spirit. If we want to save the world, we must have what they don't have. Hallelujah. When I'm Siga, and that's the Holy Spirit, the, his work is not done. When I'm not to my own work at the Holy Spirit will do his work of the last days. When I'm the, me, me. the Lord knew the mom, the that you and I, I we would live in the times of the end. And the he will use us to do the works of the end times. Believe that the Lord can do greater works than he has done in the past. Believe in this. The Holy Spirit is received by faith. And I will show you. Let's leave aside the cares. And love one another. The, the problem doesn't come from your brother. It's the, the enemy. Let's love one another. Let's hold one another and be united with one each other and call upon the Lord and he will hear our cry and he will have mercy on his people and he will save many. Through us, the Lord can save the land. The program and the, the vision of the law for the Lord for America is not over yet. It, it still has power. But the Lord is just looking for few people. Revival does not need many people. It just starts with a few. And, and it will bring out many people in. For us, uh, it just started with my family. But then many people are saved. And it even took over the city. And it took over different churches. Listen, I went to a town, a city called Kudugu, in the time of prayer, and there was a man, and the Holy Spirit said, there is a person here, since birth, he has not spoken a word, he cannot speak, and I say, is this such a person in this place, and they brought the person, and we prayed for the person. At that moment, he began to speak before people, in front of people. And people began to shout for Jesus. And I hear the shouts, the cry, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Listen. At that more in this moment, I saw a young man that was crying. And I said, what is going on? And he said, I am married for seven years. And my wife cannot have a child. I have prayed. And my, even I don't have faith anymore. And I say, Lord, if your word is true, I am going to prayer. But let me know. When he came, he saw that the 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 um the person that could not speak was speaking. And the okay, the person, the, his wife could not have a child. Then when he came to the prayer meeting and saw the 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 person that could not speak speaking, then he began to cry, repent that he was doubting the Lord. Because today, many people are growing cold. But the Lord will renew the strength. The, the Lord will do a, give you a sign to increase your faith. So that your faith will increase. When the Lord works, your faith increases. 
Today, the Lord wants to do something in this church. Don't look at your own strength. Because there are some people that say we don't have strength anymore. We don't we can't do anything. But you will do it. Because it takes the spirit. It's not by the strength of a man. It is by the power of God. The power of God. New life will spring in you. God will cause new things to, to come into your life. New things will come into your life. And the Lord wants us to pray. To pray. Pray. Because when the Lord sees that his people are praying, he comes. As you will be praying, other people are being saved. I tell you, if you are praying for an hour, double it to ten. Don't say I don't have time. Sometimes, I am, as I'm driving, I'm praying. I'm driving and I'm praying. I'm praying. Sometimes, I'm, I can be tired. And, but at night, one o'clock in the morning, I will get up and I begin to pray. And the time came that I'm tired. And at one o'clock, I saw that somebody tapped me on the shoulder twice. And I got up. And I saw that there wasn't nobody. Yeah, it's the spirit of God waking. And I, be, and I was filled with strength to pray. You also, you will pray. Pray to the Lord. Call upon the Lord. The, the time that you begin to call upon him. People are leaving darkness. As you are praying. People are leaving in bondages. As you are praying, people are leaving the world and coming to Jesus. As you are praying, there is light that is shining. Listen. Pray to the Lord. Because the Lord has his work to do. And he is does it through prayer. I used to think that I did not have strength. But I decided and I said to the Lord, lead me now. Lead, take every form of weakness in me so that I will be able to pray the way you want me to pray. And at that moment, the Lord removed weakness from me. Hallelujah. 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 And today, I see the youth, even my own child, when he, he gets up and he leads worship, people are being healed as he's leading worship. Just worship in the worship. The Lord wants us to get up. He will raise our children and a, a work will be done. And it will amaze us. It will amaze us. Then now we're going to enter into a time of prayer at this moment. If there is anyone in this place that hear the word and decided to be part of the revival for himself, for his family, for the land, for the country. If there is anyone in this place that has, we would like to, I would like to pray for those people. If you are here and you see that your life is not quite right with the Lord, if, and if you want to give your life to the Lord, surrender to the Lord, repent. Just repent. Repent. And the Lord is ready to forgive you. The Lord wants a, tra a transformation. The Lord wants transformation in our lives. It is transformation that He is looking for. The Lord does not want your gift. He wants your transformation. The Lord does not want you to perish. He wants your transformation. He wants you to finish well. Because time has come for us to ask the Lord 
forgiveness so that he will walk with us. If you are in this world and you leave this world without accomplishing anything for the Lord, that your life has not has been a waste. Hallelujah. But the time also is coming for us to depart this world. But today, it is our time. It is our time. It is our time. It is our time. If you are here and you want to repent before the Lord and, or you want to serve the Lord, be on your feet at this moment and I will pray. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. When I'm here, I'm here. The Spirit is, the Lord is you saying, are the, in the last days, I will work. And I will take those that has no strength to pam, pam, uh, and to increase their strength. Pam, and I will, I, will, I will defeat those who are strong with the weak. Mam, nan, jika, I will take men niba, ham, pora, that are despised and I will Increase them. And people will know that it is from the Lord. Today, don't say I have no strength. Strength comes from the Lord. The Lord will do his will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will pray. Lift your hands and receive. Lord. I am before you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Forgive the people. Forgive your people. If their lives they are not right with you, Lord, forgive. Lord, many people, souls have been lost. Forgive them. Lord, forgive them. Forgive them. Re remove the sins. Remove the sins in the, by the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. Let your sins be re removed by the power of the blood of the Lamb. Receive forgiveness in, in, in the, by the power of the blood. Make the, the bandages be removed in the name of Jesus. I remove every bandage from the devil in the name of Jesus. I remove every bandage from the enemy in the name of Jesus. Today, let your life be rebuilt. Let your life be rebuilt. Your life be rebuilt as new. In the name of Jesus, Lord, forgive your people. Forgive your people. Forgive your people. Forgive your people. And at this moment, if you are here and you are decided to, to be a vessel for the Lord, to increase the kingdom of God, the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. And He will go before you. You. He will go before you. He will go before you. If you have made the decision, let the, the Lord will give you strength. Receive 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 the Spirit of God. Receive the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's all together join together in prayer. Let's pray together. Let's raise, your, let's raise your voice and let's pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your name be glorified. We call upon you in the name of Jesus. Call upon the spirit of revival. Call the spirit of revival. The America needs a revival. When I'm not in America. Lord, bring a revival. America in America. America needs a revival. The time has come. Lord, bring a spirit of revival. Bring a spirit of revival. 
Bring a spirit that will revive us. Give us the spirit that will revive us. Let the revival come in the homes. Let the homes be revived. Let the, Let the, whole, the, the land be revived. Let the, the country be revived. Let the, the leaders be revived. Let them receive a revival. Let them receive a revival. Holy Spirit, we touch the leaders. Holy Spirit, touch the leaders. Let bring them back to yourself. Bring them back to yourself. Lord, I call upon you for the youth, for the youth, for the youth. Oh, call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord, call upon him for the power of the Spirit. Let the youth come, let the youth return to you, let the youth return to you and bring a revival for others. Lord, let your spirit touch the youth. Holy Spirit, touch the youth. Touch the youth. Holy Spirit, touch them. Lord, many are lost. They are in darkness. They are lost. 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 Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back. By your own power. Lord. And the Lord is showing me many people are running and they are coming. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you think this is a difficult thing for the Lord? It's, this is not a difficult thing. This is not a difficult thing. The Lord will bring it to pass. The Lord will bring it to pass. They will come and they will receive Jesus. And many will be servants of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to continue in prayer. And from now, let this place be a place of prayer, a house of prayer. Let your living rooms, your bedrooms be a place of prayer from today. Let's pray together. Let's call upon the spirit of prayer. A spirit, Holy Spirit. A spirit of prayer. A spirit of intercession. Come. Spirit of intercession, come. Receive the spirit of intercession. Receive the spirit of intercession. Receive the spirit of intercession. Receive the spirit of prayer. Now, before Pan comes some Lord, let your weaknesses be removed. Receive the spirit of intercession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I'm Simbi Arizona, our Father in heaven, I thank you. At this moment, I bless the church. I bless the pastor. I bless the congregation. I bless the land. Let the, the, the name of the city be known by the power of your spirit, by the power of your glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say amen together. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
could I have the worship team come forward, please? We'll have 